I would like to greet all the great family of governors during this Sikas service. Today we are being bringing a series that is entitled Things That Destroys Us. Today we are going to deal with bad friends. Bad friends is one of the things that destroys us. My family, as we walk along the path of life, there will be people that will influence us either for good or for bad. And we call these people friends. What then is a friend? A friend is someone who has got access into your life, access into your emotions, access into your feelings, and access into your thoughts. Can someone tell me this morning, whom do you speak to when you need emotional support in difficult times? Whom do you speak to when things are going wrong in your life? Whom do you speak to when you are feeling low? Whom do you speak to when do you think of sharing your breakthrough news in your life? When something new has taken place in your life, who is the first person that you call and share the good news with? Whom do you text or email first? Whether it is a gossip or something positive? Whose advice do you seek when making important decisions for your life? When you want to get married? When you want to take a new job? When you want to make an investment? When you want to travel? Whom do you talk to and whose ideas do you bounce it off with? Who is that person that you are able to laugh or to talk to about your dreams? As I ask these questions, the name that come through into your mind is the name of the person or people you call friends. And these are the people who have got access into your life. They have got access given by you into your innermost being. They've got access into your thoughts, into your feelings and your emotions. These people are your friends. They are not your acquaintances, but they are people you invest your emotions into. In our lives, my family, we are bound to make friends. Some of those friends will stay with us throughout our lives. Some of those friends will stay with us for a short while. And during the time that they will spend with us, they will have a significant impact upon us as to who we become in our lives. What does the Bible say about bad friends? 1 Corinthians 15:13 the Bible says, American Standard Version, 
Be not deceived. Evil companionship corrupt good morals. The Bible in basic English reads, Do not be tricked by false words. Evil company does damage to good behavior. Another Bible version reads, Don't fool yourselves. Bad friends will destroy you. Yet the Derby Bible reads, Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. God's word Bible reads, Don't let anyone deceive you. Associating with bad people will ruin decent people. The ISV version reads, Stop being deceived. Wicked friends lead to evil ends. King James version says, Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good morals. The literal translation reads, Do not be led astray. Bad companionships ruin habits. Who are bad friends? Because we are talking about things that destroy us. And we say the first one are bad friends. Who are bad friends? Number one, bad friends are those people who influence you with bad suggestions. They tell you where to go. They tell you what to do. They tell you what to experiment with. And they also make fun of your principles. These are the people who make you feel that doing the right thing in your life is wrong. Who are bad friends? Number two, bad friends are those people who introduce destructive or self-defeating habits into your life. Habits that you will get involved in them, which the result will be a destruction of your life and your destiny. People who are drinking today, 